about vehicle tours. You got me about which one. It's not gonna be my car. It's gonna be my aunt. I don't know, car and horse. And my aunt. She actually has a boyfriend as well in this case. And about that gate. Uh, I went in around all the doors. Locked or unlocked? It's unlocked. Uh, on sign out. I'm not pushing the start button. It's just like super simple. Because it's the same as my car. Push brake. So basically you're gonna like put your front brake and if I'll start button, you're gonna push it. And it's just push this. Now this is why I'm not used to like using spark. Pushing this will automatically park the car. You're gonna like try and back out. There's the, like reverse neutral. I don't know what that really does, but who knows? Drive. Swing D. Um. But that is like a lot smaller on like my car in this case because my car is more appropriate. I'm talking about a Cooper King and someone who's years. Who's more capable of in a about, about driving big cars? It's just really, really capable of in that case, apparently. But, anyways, about the second row seats, I'm gonna take a look. I think then that I think then then one of her episodes. So about Joe Frost. I think then one of her episodes. When it, about her rental car is actually in Nissan Road. It said that it was a previous generation. It was a 2020 though. Because this is like a 2021. Uh, anyways, you know, like air vents. Right here, look at this. It's not bad. Airflow control. And oh, and, and, oh, I wonder what this is. Look, look, look. They like, oh, they can like, oh, they don't have to open at the same time. Apparently, because I'm like really about this in compartments. This I think it's just like possible types of driving modes, like different ones. That one there's a glove compartment, and of course there's a passenger door. And around like like some buttons, they control about whether windows or about whether passengers can open and or windows or not. Um, there's no, um, there's not, um, there are only two of the seats in this thing, which is, which is my downside, which is my only downside about driving a Nissan Rogue. Seems just like, small for me. Because I'm not really in, used to, in what about like driving compact vehicles. Are yeah, you trying to find the bag? Yeah, I need a bag. Well, guess what, Farmer Mario? I opened the car trunk in the nick of time. I was actually going to show off the interior of the car trunk. <sighs> also, anyways, my aunt's boyfriend needs a bag for something, apparently. Um, I'm about this. Just like, like, basically. About extra time, basically, it's location though. 
And so anyways, looks like these seats can be folded down. But obviously it's just got me like... But obviously, it's just like done right here. But about how that's in, I gotta, I gotta have it figure it out in the second row. And unfortunately for me, this the car driving for this thing is just manual, which is another downside. Cause I've used it to automatic ones. Well, anyways. This right here. I'll see it. And I think it's like car seat ISO fix. Or maybe it's just like car seat hook openers. Um, cup holders, of course. There we go. Now we now we're able to like got the seats yeeted down. But anyways, look at this right here. They can be like falling down. More cargo space. Um. Those hooks right there are actually car seat hooks, apparently. It's what they seem to be, though. Uh, on a side note, um, about this, you see, it's got me just like adjusted to the height of the passenger for seating reasons. And like the way of the height of. Of, of, of the max possible height, and of course, about like the passenger's head for safety reasons. It's kind of like brought up appropriately. But, but about this thing, is this all it does? I don't know if this is all it does in that case. And, and it's all on the head, on the head, this does. In this case, it's totally different in about like this one and the handrest and the handrest in front of the male seat in my car. The only male seat in my car, apparently. But, anyways, like, anyways, this is just a rental car. It's not owned by anybody. And of course, what's on the middle of the steering wheel is the car horn. It's easy. Based on like other cars I've seen, and this right here is the parking brake. And and about and and by the way, there's like a winter icon right here. It turns out this rental car is actually all-wheel drive, which means it can handle snow-covered roads if it has all-weather tires. That's really, that's just really cool. That's just like really, really cool. Um, and about where it says all wheel drive. It actually says right here, apparently. Look at this, all wheel drive. With something that my parents like. If the car's like around the car fits a little thirsty, there's this. There's this thing. Watch this. Like opens. You actually have to. Yeah. It's actually a push to open. Much unlike. You actually have to like open the from the exterior of the car. It's completely different from my car. In that case, I'm saying, look, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. There's a subscribe button. Click it. Turn on notifications. See you in the next one. This is Bowser signing off.